What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here with Tier List Episode 2. Yes, we're back with Tier List. If you haven't seen Episode 1, make sure you go on my channel. There is a playlist of Tier List. And yeah, there's only one other episode, so watch that one before this one. It really doesn't matter, but... You know, I'd, I, if I was watching something, I would watch the first episode. It's not really storylined, but you can go ahead and watch it if you want. But anyways, we are here with episode two, Fast Food. Yes, sir. We are here to rank fast food and put them in lists of tiers. So, without further ado, I mean, like, this is pretty self-explanatory, guys. I just put it on where I think it will be on the tiers and yeah do not get salty in the comments because your favorite is on the bottom or never had and yeah this is opinions so respect my opinion I respect yours if you want to put a tier list of your own or anything you disagree with in the comments below so yeah without further ado let's get on to this and disclaimer there is a lot of never hads because there is just so many fast foods that I just never had, I guess. Like, look, there's so much. There's like 30 or 40. I've had like probably 20 of these. So, yeah, let's get it started. Just saying. First up, we got Apple Bees. Now, I wouldn't really consider it fast food, but it is on here. I guess I, I consider it as a, res a restaurant. It's not a fancy restaurant, but I consider it as a restaurant. If you guys consider it as fast food, then good for you. But I don't think it's fast food. But it's on this list. So I'm going to go ahead and rank it anyways. Applebee's. Um, I'm going to have to go with C. It's mostly mid for me. You know, um, they sell a lot of stuff from like wings, burgers, and pasta, I think. Um, last time I went here, I got their boneless buffalo wings, and they weren't that bad. The ranch was actually kind of bad, so. But overall, I don't go to Applebee's a lot. I've probably been there like four times in my life, and, uh, it's mostly a C. Next up, we got DQ Dairy Queen. I've never had their food. Um, I don't know why anyone would go there for their food, but I guess if that's the only thing available, then sure, but... I had had their blizzards, obviously. Who hasn't? Their blizzards are amazing, you know. This is only going at freaking B because of the blizzards. Overall, it's probably like a D. But, like, since I, I, my personal opinion of what I've tried is the blizzards. And that's what I'm ranking it on. So, there's no rules. I mean, I didn't do just food and, and just drinks. I, I did everything that I have. So, I've, I've had and the blizzards it's the only thing so I'm gonna put it at B next up we got something I don't even know it doesn't look sim familiar so I'm gonna go with never had also this this piece of wheat Boston market I've seen it there is some here and Texas but um never had it I do think I believe it is like Thanksgiving type meals I'm not a hundred percent sure um probably like turkey mashed potatoes something like that I don't know, but that's what I heard. So, just saying. Cheesecake Factory. Uh, a little hot take here. I don't like cheesecake. It's not. It's not good. A lot of people like cheesecake. I don't know. I just don't like the combination. So obviously, if I don't like cheesecake, I've never had the Cheesecake Factory. <sighs> Next up, we got Chick Fil A. 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 Hey, what can I say? Chick-fil-A is very good. Very bomb. Everyone knows this. If you don't like Chick-fil-A, you probably you probably should go see a doctor. That's what I think should happen. Um, but anyways, Chick-fil-A is really good. The chicken sandwich is my personal go-to. Is the spicy chicken deluxe. P pretty, pretty popular. Um, oh, the sauce. The cane. Not the cane sauce. My bad. The Chick-fil-A sauce. Really, really good. Um, yeah, Chick-fil-A, just a standard good old place. A is good. Next up, we got something I don't know. That literally almost looks like the Ford logo, but I think it says value. Don't know what that is. Dunkin' Donuts. D. 
Dunkin' Donuts is a straight D. I've actually had it today. Um, it was the pumpkin spice latte. I love pumpkin spice lattes. It's the only coffee I like, which is kind of weird. I haven't, I haven't had every coffee, but so far out of the coffees I've had, it's the it's a pumpkin spice is the best. But um, anyways, enough with that. Dunkin' Donuts. The pumpkin spice is like a six out of ten. And from Starbucks, it's like a 9 out of 10. I don't know how. I'm pretty sure Starbucks is just like that with the coffee. But Dunkin' Donuts, that's one reason why it's low. And their breakfast, you know, it's I. You know, the don the donuts, they all, they're all right. I know it's called Dunkin' Donuts, and the donuts is what it's known for. They're okay. Um, but, yeah, their hash browns are actually really good. I like their hash browns. And... What else? I uh, used to get the sourdough sandwich, breakfast sandwich with bacon. Not bad either. But in total, in totality, I'm going to give it a D for DD. All right. Next up, we got five guys. I actually know about this as well, but I've never had it. I know they sell burgers and fries. But um, I've heard it's too expensive, and I guess I just never had it. You know, my family's not that rich so um yeah i just never had five guys i know it's it's like 13 dollars a meal man that's crazy i never had five guys one i have it because it doesn't sound like bad food but hopefully i'll have some in the future next up we got hardy's now i can consider hardy's and carl's jr the same thing if it's not my bad but i've heard it's the same thing and yeah we got carl's jr over there so I'm gonna just do Carlos Jr. whenever the count that comes up. Next up, we got what is this? Pan, Paninus? No, don't know. Red Lobster. I know about it, but I don't think I've had it. I don't think. I think, but I don't think. I'm gonna go ahead and go with never had, because if I don't remember, then I don't think I had it. So I don't think I had it. Next up, we got IHOP. All right, also not a fast food chain. It's a breakfast restaurant, but we're gonna go ahead and put it on here anyways IHOP is pretty good I that's probably the most breakfast place I go to on this whole list IHOP is really good alright I love their pancakes and I just my go to is uh, an omelet build your own omelet build your own omelet with American cheese bacon ham spinach and one more thing bacon ham I think I just do bacon ham, honestly. I don't know. That sounds kind of boring at first, but it's actually really good. You guys should try my my go tos. Do what I just said. But anyways, I get that all the time, and it is always a good way to start your. Did I say it's a good day? It's a good way to start your day. It's a good meal to start your day. It's a good breakfast to start your day. I'm not really a breakfast guy, but it's pretty good. I love their omelets. Next up, we got Jack in the Box. Man, Jack in the Box is good. It is going in A as well. Um, I totally forgot that. The closest it is, it is to the left, it's better. So Jack in the Box is actually the best on here. Yeah, it is better than Chick-fil-A. Probably not a, pe a lot of people will agree with that, but I love their tacos. Their tacos look like complete doo-doo, but it is so good. It is literally so good. I don't know how. It has to be some other crap, but it is very good. I love the tacos. My go-to is like two tacos and a... Uh, what is that? They have a, like a chicken sandwich now. They have a chicken sandwich there. I used to get their Jumbo Jack. It was just a regular burger. But now I get um, their chicken sandwich. So it's just a chicken sandwich uh, single. It's just a sandwich. Two tacos and curly fries and a drink. Not gonna lie, that's a lot of food. So sometimes I don't really finish it. And uh, yeah. Next up, we got Panda Express. Hmm, the Chinese kitchen. I've had it recently, like Monday, I think. I'm recording this on Thursday. Hopefully, it, it'll be up by Thursday. Probably not because of the editing, but. Panda Express is gonna have to go to be behind Dairy Queen um it's not authentic Chinese it's just fast food Chinese um 
it's pretty good. You know, it's pretty good. That's why I put it at B. It's not the worst. It's not mid. Um, my go-to is their ch orange chicken with uh, rice or lo mein. I honestly just feel whatever I'm feeling is whatever I put in there. Little bowl with that, and that's honestly it. It honestly does fill you up or well, fill me up on um personally, but um yeah, it's a B. Panda Express is a B. Next up, we got Popeyes. Mm hmm hmm. Popeyes haven't had Popeyes in a very hot minute. It's gonna go over Chick Fil A. Obviously, the Popeyes chicken sandwich is better than the Chick Fil A sandwich because it's bigger. The chicken is better. Yes, the chicken is a little bit better. It's more crispier, and the sauce. I always get spicy. The spicy chicken sandwich from Popeyes is so good, man. I haven't had one in ages. But yeah, that's basically all I get is, is the chicken sandwich. I don't. I've had their fries. I've had their chicken, but the the sandwich just carries it, and that's gonna give it second on A. Next up, we got Panera Bread. I've actually tried this before. I've tried a ham sandwich and a chicken noodle soup and bread, but that's about it. Probably been here like seven times in my life, seven to ten times. You know, obviously, it's not the best, so I'm going to put it in the back of D. It's not like F, like the worst thing ever. It's just, it's going to be behind Dunkin' because I haven't had it that much, and it wasn't terrible. It was... I'll put it in D. I'll just put it behind. I'm not going to put it in C. It's not mid. I'll put it in D. D is a weird one for me. It's not terrible because that's what F is, but it's also not mid. So it's in it's in, in between, all right? Next up, we got Burger King. Um, BK, yeah, have it your way. That's what we're doing. It's going to go... Where is it going to go? I have two options right now. I'll put it behind Panda. I was going to put it in front of Applebee's. I'm going to put it behind Panda. It's the back of B. The Whopper. It's honestly not a bad sandwich. It's not a bad sandwich. It's or it's sandwich. It's not a bad burger. The fries aren't bad. I actually like mixing the fries with ketchup and mayonnaise. It is very good. And the Whopper. It's usually what I get. The Whopper. It's not bad. It's a B. It's a little good sometimes. But uh, yeah, yeah. I can roll with the Whopper sometimes. Not bad. Um, I've had their chicken. The chicken fries is really good. And their chicken nuggets are okay. Um, but uh, at the back B. Becca B. Next up, we got Raisin Canes. Oh, that's an S. That's an easy S. Guys, we're talking about Raisin Canes chicken fingers here. The chicken and the sauce carries. The sauce, mostly. I cannot eat chicken, the chicken tenders, without the sauce. Without the sauce? You know where Canes is at? It's going to be right here behind Panera. But since the sauce is in, it's going to go up there. I don't know who invented the sauce. I don't know who thought of the sauce, but it is very fire. Literally, put in the chicken in the sauce, put in the fries in the sauce, put in the Texas toast in the sauce, putting it all, all together with the sauce. It is amazing, bro. That's why I asked for like four packets. <laughs> but yeah, um, they basically just sell chicken and fries, and they do have a chicken sandwich combo, which I have tried, and it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So it is on the top of this for now. Next up, we got Subway. Eat fresh. Um, another one where I haven't had in a while, just like uh, Popeyes. They sell subs and cookies and, and chips. Not a bad place. I really enjoy it sometimes. My go-to is... What is my go-to? It's a Italian... BMT, not a BLT, but a BMT. I don't know what a BMT is, but it's something like that. I know it's not a BLT because a BLT is bacon, lettuce, tomato. But it's the Italian, like, meat. And it's it's really good. It's the Italian meat. I put lettuce, peppers, 
uh, purple onions. And yeah, it's honestly pretty good sometimes. Haven't had it in a while. It's going to go on the top of B. On the top of B. Not A, but on the top of B. I like it. Next up, we got Carl's Jr. Um, I've probably had Carl's Jr. like five times in my life. And actually, fun fact, most of the times we're in Mexico. Here, I've probably only had it twice. But for some reason, when we went to Mexico, we just we just got it. I mean, I don't know why. And I think there's most likely a difference since, you know, it's not in the same country. But overall, it's nothing really great. I might... Yeah, it's really nothing that special, all right? It really isn't. I'm going to put it in the back of D. It's really not anything special. It's worse than Panera Bread. I don't know anyone that likes Carlos Jr. It's nothing special. Next up, we got CC's Pizza. Didn't even know this was on the list. How is this? This is like a freaking whatever. This is like a buffet, a pizza buffet. If you guys don't know CC's Pizza, it's just a pizza buffet. It's like a Chinese place, but pizza. Um, I've never, ever in my life been like, you know what? I'm craving some CC's. No one is craving CC's. You just go there to go there. Like, oh, a CC's. You want to go to CC's? Have a good time? You know, usually families go there. I don't see normally a one one person. Sometimes the lonely people, but... um, I mean, it's pizza. How can you go wrong with pizza? It's not the best pizza. I'm going to put it on the top of C. For C. C, C. So, it's not the best, obviously, but... It's mid, you know, it's mid. It's just a pizza buffet. All the other pizzas are better than this. Speaking about pizza places, we got Domino's. I'm going to put it right there. Right behind Chick-fil-A. Um, we'll see how it does against the other pizza chains, but for now, it's the best one. What I like about Domino's, my go-to is the pepperoni. Um, I just, their dough is just so good. I've, I don't know. That's a weird compliment to give a pizza place. It, it is, it's true for me. The dough carries it. I mean, like, when you, like, flip over the back, like, when you flip the pizza over, you see like the these these dots and this like just good aligning of brown every time Domino's just has that good dough I don't know how they do it but the dough is just really good the sauce is honestly not that good the but the dough and the cheese is pretty good overall it's an A it's a little better than IHOP and yeah I don't know weird weird but that's just how it is it's a good pizza place Next up, we got, don't know what that is. Uh, Chili's, another restaurant, just like Applebee's. It's uh, it's better than Applebee's, for sure. I'm going to have to put it probably behind Express, in front of King. Listen, it's not a fast food chain. I wouldn't really compare it to these things, but that's just where it's going to go. Because that's how the list is. Leaves, you know, it's the same thing as Applebee's, most mo for the most part. Uh, I've probably been there like seven times. I've been there more than Applebee's, but probably more, honestly. I don't know. Probably like ten, at least ten. But, um, I don't really have a go-to, but, yeah, I just get whatever I get. I can't really remember, honestly. But they sell the same things, most mostly, like Applebee's, so. It's better. It's better, in my opinion, so I'll put it fourth of B. Next up, we got Denny's, another breakfast place, restaurant. Wouldn't put it in this list, but um, it's here. It's not better than IHOP. I've had it a lot of times. Actually, recently, I say in the past five years, I've had it like twice. And in the past five years before that, like eight times. Like literally, we don't go there anymore. I don't know why. But um, it's not bad, okay? Some people say it's bad. It's not bad. Um, I think I would just get, like, their normal, like, eggs, sausage, bacon, hash browns, and stuff. It wasn't terrible. I'll probably put it 
between Applebee's and CC's, so I'll put it there. IHOP is the GOATS, so it's going to go right there. Next up, we got Buffalo Wild Wings. Another, I don't know, it's like a, it's not fast food. It's just a bar place, or like a TV place, like a sports place. But it's here. So um, Buffalo Wild Wings haven't had that much, probably like four times again. But um, the wings aren't bad. The wings aren't bad. All right, they're not bad. They're, they're okay wings. I'll put it probably behind Burger King. That's not bad. I would like to go there again. Haven't been there probably in a while. Like a real, real while. Like nowhere near 2020. I probably went there like 2019. It's been a while. But yeah. Uh, behind a B. Nothing special. I don't really have a go-to since I haven't been there in a while. So back a B. Uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. Never heard of that. Even though that's probably in Texas. Never heard of it though. Olive Garden. Another one where I wouldn't put on here, but it's on here. Olive Garden is a very good restaurant, man. Wow. I cannot compare it to these things, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. And it's going to go. It's going to go behind Chick-fil-A. All right. So what carries this is literally pasta, salad, breadsticks. Boom. That's literally all I get. Pasta, salad, breadsticks. At first, you sit down. I don't know which one they give you first, but I think they give you both. Breadsticks and salad. It both They both hit. They both smack, man. The salad, I don't know how, but it's really good. And the breadsticks are freaking fire, too. Really good. And then you can get anything, but mostly it's the pasta. It's the pasta for me. And it's really just what I'm feeling. If I'm feeling fettuccine Alfredo, I usually get Alfredo, by the way. Alfredo is way better than regular. Um, fettuccine, penne is really good. It's mostly fettuccine and penne. Those two are the ones. If you don't know your pastas, then something's wrong with you. But yeah, it's just really good. And I think it's with shrimp or chicken or with both. Uh, I think I do chicken. Yeah, I do chicken. I think I, yeah, I prefer chicken over shrimp. It's a really close battle, but chicken better. Anyways, all in all, those three things, it's fire, man. That's why it's going to go fourth of A. Next up, we got another pizza place, Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut, except for Domino's, though. <laughs> um, I do like Domino's better, and I'm going to put Pizza Hut probably in front of Dairy Queen. Oops. In front of Dairy Queen. Um, here's what carries Pizza Hut. I never, ever get their regular pizza. I always, always get the dinner box. I think that's what it's called. If you guys haven't had the dinner box, it's like a very big rectangular, probably the size of freaking, I don't know, like a... Like a, oh, like a little mini desk. I don't know. It's really big. It's got two sides for pizzas. And they're Detroit style pizzas. The square ones. You can choose two toppings. Two styles of pizza. I usually go with pepperoni. And spinach. Yes. You heard it here folks. Pepperoni and spinach. The pepperoni one. Self explanatory pepperoni. The spinach one has spinach and white cheese. If you guys haven't had that, that is bomb. But that's not all. The dinner box is not done. You can also choose between wings, breadsticks, and pasta. I think those are the three. You can get two of them. They're all good. But I think the pasta and the breadsticks is what you're going to have to go with. Sorry, wings. Sorry. But it's the pasta and the breadsticks. The breadsticks are like rectangular, long breadsticks. They're pretty long. And they have this... It's coated on the top with cheese. It's really good. And then the pasta. I think you can get different kinds of pasta, but it's the. I think it's called rigatoni. Yeah, yeah. The squir the squirrely ones, the squiggly ones, the swirly ones. I meant. And yeah, yeah. It's good. The whole dinner box is good. That's what carries Pizza Hut for me. And I'm gonna put it at the second of B. 
Next up, we got the iconic, probably the most eaten fast food place ever, is McDonald's. Mickey D's. Um, obviously I've had McDonald's, because who hasn't? It's gonna go... It's not bad. It's not the best. It is good, though. In front of IHOP. Behind Domino's. It's not, it's, uh, probably a lot of people are crazy for McDonald's, but it's nothing crazy. My go-to is probably, hmm, I don't know, I usually switch it up every time. Hmm, probably the Big Mac, honestly, or the Quarter Pounder. It's gotta be a tie between those two. Yeah, it's gotta be a tie between those two, Big Mac and Quarter Pounder. Either get the Quarter Pounder meal or the Big Mac meal. And it's it's pretty good. Also very cheap McDonald's. And it's gonna go on the sixth of A. Uh next up we got TG Guy Fridays, also not a fast food place. But whatever. Um I've had it probably like three times. Not that much. Same as Applebee's. It is better though. I don't remember what it got, but I just remember it being pretty decent. I'll put it on the top of C. The top of C. I, I I have really nothing to say. I just don't remember. Only had it like three times. So all I remember is that it was decent. It was decent. Um. Next up, we got Arby's. Thank God I've never had it. Thank God. Thank the Lord and Jesus I've never had it. Anyways, by the looks of it, it looks disgusting. How? What? What? It literally just sells meat. We got the meat, my boy. You need to chill. Meat? It's literally just ham. Every time I see a commercial, it's just two buns and like ten slices of, of ham. What is this? But that's mostly it. Um. But for real though, I've had, I have seen some commercials of Arby's. They've got like chicken, chicken poppers and like, uh, like regular stuff. I might try it in the future, but I've never tried it, and you never know. Maybe if I do try it, it might be good. So, I'm going to just stop talking. I'm going to just stop talking. But that's what I've seen. It don't look good. So, never had. Next up, we got Taco Bell. Live Moss. You don't live Moss on the toilet. <laughs> um, Yeah, that's really all I got to say is the toilet after. But um, I'm going to give it a... It's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna put it just a little bit above. Nah. Hold up. Wait a second. Nah. It's better than Dom's. It's better than Dom's. Um, I used to actually love this place a lot, but um, I don't know. It's just decreased for me. It just decreased for me. I feel like it's the toilets after. My go-to is. Oh, there's a lot of go-tos, honestly. Probably the, the box. They sell like this $5 box and you can put like your own stuff in it. I do a Chalupa. Chalupas are bomb. And I do a five layer bean burrito. And a taco. Regular old crunchy taco. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, you can do cinnamon twist too. I do that too. But not gonna lie, I kind of don't eat them. They're not bad, but I just don't eat them. I don't know why. Ooh, you know what else carries Taco Bell is their Baja Blast. Man, sometimes it, I've never done this, but in the future, I'm going to go to Taco Bell just for the Baja Blast, honestly. Yeah, that Baja Blast is crazy. It's a drink. It's like a Mountain Dew. I don't know what it is, but it's something Mountain Dew did and Taco Bell, and they made the Baja Blast. So, Yeah, overall, it's going to go fifth of A. Uh, next up we got, what is this? It's a freaking lizard. I don't know what that is. Jersey Mike's never had it. Sorry, guys. I do know what Jersey Mike's is, but, uh, never had it. Never had it. They sell subs. Never had it. My bad. To all those Jersey Mike's fans. Next up we got Starbucks Coffee. I don't even know if this is fast food, but I guess it doesn't sell food. It sells freaking. It actually does. It sells like some breakfast stuff, but overall, it sells coffee. And uh, not gonna lie, it's pretty good. I've had a lot of stuff. I've had like this white drink. Don't call me sus, but it was like a white drink. I think it was like a vanilla something. 
Not bad. That's what I used to get. It was like pretty good. Then I switched over to oh the dragon drink, the dragon fruit drink. If you guys haven't had that. That is really good too. I like it. It's basically just a dragon fruit drink. It's got a little bit of dragon fruit in there. And then finally, you got the pumpkin spice latte. Um, recently just had it for the first time. I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin based foods. So I went ahead and I don't like coffee though. Before I tried this, I did not like coffee. Any other coffee I tried, not good. I'm not a coffee person. Probably not yet, but I'm just not a coffee person. Until I tried pumpkin spice latte, and that thing is really, really good. Wow. I just drank one today, but it was from Dunkin' Donuts, sadly. Man, the ones at Starbucks are freaking bomb. That's going to have to go. Oh, it's so weird comparing it to food because it's just a coffee. It really is just a coffee. Listen, just for the sake of the video, I just want you guys to understand that it's just for the coffee, alright? I'm putting it right behind Chick-fil-A. That's how good it is. <sighs> I really hate this, but we gotta keep on going. Next up, we got Wendy's as an actual fast food place. I, I've had Wendy's some, sometimes, at least 20 times in my life. Hmm. I just usually get the 4 for 4. You guys know the 4 for 4. I think it's a $5 biggie bag now. But, um, yeah, it's basically a burger, a little junior burger. It's got nuggets, it's got fries, and it's got a drink. Just for 5 bucks. So, and they're all, like, small. Like, it's all, it's a small burger, it's a small container of fries, it's a small container of nuggets, and I think it's a small drink, too. I don't remember. But, yeah, it's not bad. You know, it's decent, it's good food. I'm gonna put it above chicken, I mean, not chicken express, Panda Express. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. I'll put it behind DQ. Next up, uh, I think this is KFC. Can't really see uh, Mr. Sanders there, but um, KFC. Just had KFC, I think a week ago. Um, Their chicken sandwich is good, not as good as Chick-fil-A and Popeyes, but it is good. But this is what I get all the time, you know. I live with a family, and they they get the same thing every time. We don't get our normal stuff. It's just the same thing every time. The family, the family meal, the family meal, the the bucket of chicken and the sides. It's usually here's what we had last time recently. We had the bucket of chicken, macaroni and cheese, biscuits and corn. And honestly, that's the best. It used to be mashed potatoes, but I'm, I'm starting to lean more on the corn. I think I like the corn better. The mac and cheese is definitely going to be a go-to. I love the mac and cheese. So yeah, that's the four things I usually get from KFC. In totality, it is good. It is good. I'm going to put it in front of DQ. In front of DQ. Pizza Hut, a little bit better. I don't know why I'm changing my accent now, but, um, yeah, it's going to go third and B. Third and B for KFC. All right, so next up we got Chipotle. I like Chipotle. I like Chipotle. I haven't had Chipotle in a while, too. Probably the last time I had it was like five months ago. I'm starting to miss it. But anyways, Chipotle is good. Here's my go-to. Burrito. I know a lot of people like bowls. I honestly... I can't argue with that. Bowls are good. But I usually just get a burrito. It's just more stuff, honestly. Burrito. Ready? The meat is going to be steak. Is it called steak? No, I don't think it's called steak. What is the meat called? Oh, damn, I'm dumb. No, I think it is called steak. The normal. The the round? No, no. Like the, the, the rectangular one. I think it's steak. I hope I'm not wrong. But it's not chicken, it's not carnitas, it's not any of that. I think it's steak, yeah. It, it probably is steak. Anyways, meat, steak. Uh, no beans, I'm not a beans guy. Unless it's like mashed beans, but no beans. Uh, you're going to do white rice. No, you're going to do fried rice. Fried rice, brown rice. You're going to do brown rice. It's not fried rice, it's brown rice. You're going to do brown rice. Instead of white rice, you're going to do lettuce, 
You're gonna do that green tomatillo sauce. I think that's what it's called, the green one. Really, really good. And you're gonna do cheese and sour cream. And I think that's it. I can't remember all the toppings, but that's mostly it. And yeah, that burrito just is bomb, man. That is bomb. And that's gonna have to go. It's the top of A! It's the top of A! I don't know why, but Chipotle is just... It's expensive. That's probably why I haven't gotten it. No, but for real, though, it is super good. It is super, super, super good. That's why it's going in S. Next up, we got... No, not S. Did I say S? The top of A. Very, very my fault, guys. Sorry. Anyways, next up, we got Wingstop. Oh, man, Wingstop. <sighs> Please, why, tell me why I'm craving Wingstop right now. Why, out of all these things, I'm craving Wingstop? Anyways, Wingstop, bro. Whew. I'm going to just put it before I say it, man. It's going to go right behind Canes. It is an S tier. I love Wingstop. Who doesn't love Wingstop? Here's what I get. Another hot take here. I'm sorry to... Ruin a lot of your guys' moments, but um, I do in fact prefer boneless over bone in. I know, I said it, I said it, I said it. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that whole conflict, but if I were to get my own stuff, I would get original hot boneless and probably garlic parmesan. I like garlic parmesan, it's really good. Both of those boneless, and yeah, the ranch, the ranch. The ranch, the ranch, the ranch, the ranch carries it. Put it in ranch. Your day has been fully set. You're done. You're good. You're good for the day. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I uh, don't do well after wing stop. The aftermath, it's kind of like Taco Bell. Man, but it's really good. S tier, second. I've seen it. What does it say? Southwest Grill? Never had it. Never had it, though. Uh, Shake Shack, never had. I've had Steak and Shake. I always get them mixed up, but I've had Steak and Shake, not Shake Shack. Sorry. I, I know Shake Shack. It looks good. It looks good. Not bad. But I never had it. I uh, don't know what this is. Twenso. Let me just put everything I don't know. Because uh, I've never had Red Robin. Never had this. Never had White Castle or Jimmy John's. No, I actually have. Hold up. I'm getting, I'm getting it mixed up with another place. Yeah, I've had Jimmy John's recently. All right, five more. Let's get it. Steak and Shake. Uh, don't usually get it no more. Don't know why. Probably had it like three times. But all I remember is having a burger, fries, and a drink. Overall, wasn't terrible. It's probably same same around Wendy's. I'll put it just above Chili's though. Just above Chili's. It's a good place, you know burger fries drink haven't had it that much so can't really say anything about it next up we got pizza from papa john's um i know a lot of people actually like papa john's but i've never had it that much i've, I've had it not that much though shocking news here probably three times in my life probably three times in my life um it's gonna be the worst pizza chain for me Oh no, sorry, we got CC's on the list, my bad. It's gonna be probably behind, like literally the end of B. Sorry to all those Papa Johnians, but uh, it's just not as good as Pizza Hut and Domino's, I just don't know. We're also missing some fast food places, which I'm kind of upset about. Where the heck is Little Caesars? And where the heck is Whataburger? I know it's a Texas thing, but still. Anyway, so um, Papa John's, nothing too crazy. It's on the, on the better and the end of B. All right. Next up, we got In and Out. Really, In and Out? You put In and Out in here, but not Whataburger. Come on now, what are you, a Californian? It's not good. It's uh probably the 
end of C. It's literally not good. The burger, because it says in and out burger. It's a, it's pretty. It's pretty alright. I'll give it like a seven. You know, a six maybe. It's pretty alright. But the fries, man. I've never had worse fries than that. The last time I had worse fries was when I had leftover McDonald's fries from like a week ago. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a week old McDonald's fries. And I did try the animal style, because people might say, Oh, you need to try the animal style. You need to try the animal style. Listen, I tried it, and it just made it like a teensy bit better. It went from like a 4 to like a 4.5. It wasn't that better. So, it's at the end of C. I'm only putting it at the end of C, because the burger is decent, and the fries is not. I would put it in D, but I think it's a little better than Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm gonna put it at the end to see. Alright, next up we got Sonic. Sonic is good. Alright, a little hot take. A lot of people don't like Sonic, but I love Sonic. Sonic's pretty good. I'm gonna put an A somewhere. My go to is most likely just the regular old one. Honestly, the number one. The normal burger. Um, there's a lot of stuff at Sonic, but I just like their burgers. The burgers, they're good. They're good. They're like good burgers. I like Sonic's burgers. They're like a decent old burger, you know? It's like a normal burger. Um, what I also love about Sonic is all the drinks, man. All the drinks. There's so many drinks. Literally. You get a soda there, bruh. Because the drinks they have there is phenomenal. And I'm gonna tell you my favorite. The best drink in Sonic is ocean water. No, not ocean water, like salt water, but that's what it's called. It's called ocean water, and like it's this blue drink. I don't know what to describe it. It's just good. It literally is just good. Go to Sonic. When you go to Sonic next time, make sure you get that ocean water, and man, it's going to taste good. Make sure you go easy ice, by the way. Sometimes they don't do that. It's when the ice is like circular. That's good, too. They normally do that, but sometimes they don't. So just ask for it. But in totality, Sonic is a really good place of mine. I'm going to put it just a little bit above IHOP. It's not better than Sonic. I mean, McDonald's, but just a little bit better than IHOP. And last but not least, Jimmy John's. And this is where the last F goes. Well, the only F. The first F. Yes. Let me talk about this. I've had... Jimmy John's. I've never had Jimmy John's until this year. I think it was uh, in May or June. And I don't know. My mom just decided to order it. I don't know why. But she, she, she just decided to order it. For, for some reason, my mom just never tells me when we're getting food. We could be waking up one day. Like a Saturday or a Sunday. We could be waking up one day. And then all of a sudden... There's just food, man. Even when we're awake. Like, I get it if we're not awake, because we can't decide. But even when we're awake, we're literally just chilling, and then she just gets the food. She doesn't even ask. She's like, you don't want anything, or what do you want, or what do you want from the menu? Like, she just gets it. So I don't know if that's the reason, but she got me a sub with... This orange chicken, not orange chicken, like Chinese, but it was just like this chicken that was orange. And I think it had like cheese and lettuce. That's about it, I think. It was not good. It just was not good. I don't know if it was just that specific sandwich, but it was just not good. I think they had fries too. It wasn't bad. But it was just not good. I did eat it, but through pain. Through pain, I ate it. It was just not good. But also, also, my little brother got a sub. It wasn't the same as mine. It was like this steak one. Like a normal steak one. I ate it. I took a bite. Because I wanted a bite. I wanted to try his. And yet again, it was nasty. The flipping ass meat was so nasty. It was like Gordon Ramsay yelling at his freaking cooks. It was so raw. It was nasty. So, two subs and not good. Jimmy John's. Look, I don't know if I'm going to give you another chance, but it was not good. So, F. I know I took a while at the end there. 
But that's going to do it for tier list episode 2. I think it was longer because holy crap I talked a lot. My mouth kind of hurts. My vocal cords hurt. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Here's the list. You got S, you got A, you got B, you got C, you got D, you got F, and you got never had. Let me know what you agree or disagree in the comments below. And uh, like, comment, subscribe for more tier list episodes. Tier list episode 3 will probably come out in a month because I usually do these monthly. Ignite the flame. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.